Hello everyone! Roxas here, coming to you to episode number 3 of our Pokemon Shield DLC, The Crown Tundra. Let's play! On the last episode, uh, we tried the Max Layer, and because the NPCs are really, really not smart, <laughs> uh, I couldn't get the Suicun. So, uh, as I said, I'm gonna try uh, catching them on stream, maybe. Uh, I talked to some friends to help me out, but I don't think they got what I tried to say, but still. Uh, on today's episode we're gonna continue through this story and we're gonna follow uh, that guy whose name I forgot. Peony, I think it was? Uh, no, it was this way, right? Yes. Okay. And see what happens next. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Then... Let's see what we can go. I would use the bike, but I don't want to miss something if I am going too fast. Okay! Freezing Town! Is this like a town or something? It has two houses. Oh! Hello, hello! What we have here? Another visitor? I am the mayor of this fair town of Freezing Town. I must say, it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in our out-of-the-way town, one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvests as well? Not really, but tell me more. <laughs> ah, never mind, it's hardly bears, it hardly bears asking. So you're not gonna tell me? Okay, after all, there's a little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of the region. Which is a bit of a shame, really. People come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fair fairy tale. But since you've made the journey, I must offer you this Frisington specialty as a memento. Boat neck sweatshirt? This shirt, um blazoned with the likeliness, likeness of uh, the King of Bountiful Harvests. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite as well as we'd hoped. We've got a fair number of leftover. Oh, <laughs> that's sad. The illustrations based on extremely ancient accounts of the King's appearance. Appearance. Hence the usually sized head. Unusually sized head. Okay. So, the king had a huge head? But we thought it might make uh, the design a touch more hip, as they say. If you'd like to see what the king really... Oh! To see what the king really looked like, I suggest to take a look at the statue by the fields in the center of our village. Oh, he's really small. He's on a horse. Interesting. I thought they were they were talking about Carolex because it has a huge head, but they're not. Oh, I'm starting to like very much of this story now. It's not all about Carolex, so yay! <laughs> well, it's based on a fairy fairy tale, but if we uh, <laughs> go back to other Pokemon um, entries. Uh, most myths are true, so that's gonna be a Pokemon, I guess. It's kind of weird. We haven't had like a horse riding Pokemon. Yeah, I don't think there's something even similar to that. You can ride on Pokemon, of course, but a horse riding Pokemon that it's like two Pokemon on one. That's interesting. <coughs> by the by, while you're here in the Crown Tundra, feel free to let your lead Pokemon out of its ball and take it for a stroll. Farewell for now, then. Oh, right away with the strolly Pokemon. Oi! Oh, it was Peony. <laughs> Over here, Roxas! Okay, he's gonna enter that house, so we have to go there. But first, 
Oh, Frostless, you scared me. <laughs> oh, I said that I was going to box you, but... Well, actually, I said I was going to box you until you were level 100, so... I hope you like this weather! Hello there, welcome, I've got a lovely goods for sale. Oh! Finally, you have someone to sell stuff. Because you don't have this on the island thingy. I don't think I need anything. A big pearl? Why would I buy a big pearl? I have 123 of those. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, let's put this a little bit like that. Haha, <laughs> 123. <laughs> So, why would I buy more? To come up again. Every year the coal seems uh, to bite harder. It's getting to be much for these old bones. Oh. Oh, I love this. I love these characters. They're so lovely. A pair of grandmas. When you're trudging through snow, we've got to really stamp down with your heels. Herbs keep your face from planting in a snowdrift. Sablu. Chip chip. Okay, there's an item there. Hello. All our young ones have gone off to live at the big city. It's tough for us old folks getting by with only our Pokemon. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> Can I get this? No, I have to go all the way around. Energy root. Okay. Uh, foot... no, okay, this is a new area. But apparently they're the same Pokémon, so... Unless I see a new one. I'm not gonna explore this place, I just want to get the Pokéball. Uh, no, wait, leave me alone. Can I just avoid you? Thank you. Ah, ah, so close. Ah, 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 leave me alone. Okay. Can I... Oh, thank you! Oh, I hate to have that much close-up. Hmm, what does this say? Major's house. Okay. Have you had a look at our statue of the King of Bountiful Harvests? I actually haven't. <laughs> uh, okay, have to I haven't talked to you, right? Welcome to Frisington. It must have been quite a journey to get here. The Crown Tundra is famous for carrots. Carrots? You know, maybe you'd be interested in getting some carrot seeds as a souvenir. Uh, I guess they're gonna be helpful for something in the future, so... Give me carrots. Oh, quite enthusiastic one. And Joe. Though I must admit, these seeds are uh, rather valuable to us. How about a trade? Bring me eight pieces of uh, dynamite ore, and I'll give you the seeds. Ho oh, uh, ho ho, life is all about a quid pro quo. Quid pro go, or whatever the phrase was. I think I said it right. <laughs> uh, where do I see how much dynamite thingy I have? I guess it's in here. I have only three, okay. I'm gonna leave it there. I actually don't remember how I got it, <laughs> if I'm honest. Uh, we have to go to that house, so maybe we can enter this house. We can! Beltam! Mercross is in the game? He wasn't! <gasps> can I get it? But a bell! There's no one here. There's like a door here. Can I go in that? No. If I talk to the fridge. Do you live here alone, Beltam? Uh, I guess not because these shoes aren't. For a Beldum. <laughs> hmm, okay. It's the statue of Pokemon! But somehow it feels as if it's missing something. Oh! Okay, let's try to look at it close. Is it missing like a head or something? I see the arms. 
I see the horse. The horse looks complete. Do you have something to add for us, last? Nope. Nothing to add. Oh, wait. I see the face now. It's like a dog. So maybe the one on top is carry legs. And it's just missing the huge head. Yeah, because the kind of color thingy it has. It is the same as Carlex's one. So yeah, actually I think it's missing the... Oh, it's missing the crown. The crown tundra crown. Okay, so I now I know it's a crown. <laughs> okay! I guess I can live with that. Um, what else can we do? I guess nothing. Uh, no, 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 I didn't want to go here. Oh! Okay, hold on. No, no, no. No, no, no. We have to go here. <laughs> hold on a second. I just wanted to see if there was something here. Watching peace. Frostlass. <laughs> Come here. Haha, <laughs> here you are. This pokey little place will be our lodgings. Lodgings? Lodgings? Wait! Is that. Is that the crown? But as of this moment, it's also something far more important our base camp. I know, I know, not much of a base camp, is it? Still, we've got to give it a proper air of importance, haven't we? Now, enough faffing about Roxas. Let, let me tell you about... Let me tell you what the Peony Exploration Team is after. Around here we've got a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge-headed Pokémon known as the King of the Bountiful Harvests. Not to mention, a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokémon gather. Oh, that's the tree where Articuno, and Moltres are. I think. I remember something for the trailer, but it might be. I don't remember it being red, but... Okay, it's red. <laughs> and furthermore, this great hulking dot-faced giant that sleep in some ruins or something. Okay, so he's talking about the regis. Et cetera. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends. And we are now not stopping until we found just how much truth they've got into them. Okay, so we're like... Investigators? No? And there you have it, we are the Peony Exploration Team. And that is our ground, a noble, magnificent goal. Of course, if I had my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. And yeah, you were right about Nia. Uh, kind of right. <laughs> that she's just, just a teenager who doesn't want to spend time with her dad. So now we've, we're stuck with him. But there's nothing else we can do about that, right? <clears throat> but who knows, they say even chancy meetings can lead to blissful friendships. Okay. So here's a grand advent. To a Grand Adventure Expedition, Chief Roxas. Uh, Chief? Obviously! Look, what do you think would happen if the two of us went uh, gal gallivan gallivanting? Of gallivanting? Of together? My dear Nero could come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it. My own darling daughter sitting alone in this room, pinning for her papa. What was that sound? <laughs> ah, nope, not on my watch. I'd never let that happen. So I'll be the holder down for the fort chief. Okay, so he's gonna give us missions we have to complete. Makes sense. I'm liking this. It's kind of a different way, not just a story that I have to follow. 
just a bunch of missions I have to complete, maybe. Which means you get the pleasure of being the expedition chief. Gahaha. <laughs> Which brings me to this. Go on, have it. Expedition uniform. I don't want to use this. Actually, it doesn't look that bad, but... I wanna use it, <laughs> if I'm honest. Aha, look at that, it fits you like a glove. I brought some spare uniforms so my dear Nia could have a few to change into, so there's enough to give you one. Also, your daughter gets a lot and you only get one. Makes sense, <laughs> it's your daughter, but still. <laughs> if you ever need to change or have a keep, by all means. Just head into the bedroom back here. I've got some different colored scarves in there. Switch it up if you fancy a bit of style. Do the scarves do something? Here, have this too! Legendary Clue 1. Put the Legendary Clue 1 in the back key, back's key items pocket. A clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest is written by Peony, and an old photo is attached to it. Okay. Oh! So yeah, that's Carolex in the on top of the horse. So the horse has to be a different Pokémon, I guess. There's a fairy tale in Freezington about the legendary Pokémon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. In the legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on its head, but the wooden statue near near the fields in the middle of the village shows no sign of a crown. Okay, that's clue two. A clue about the legend of giants is written by Peony and has unique drawings. Hello. <laughs> I can draw better than this. <laughs> the legendary giants. Far, far into the gutter, the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of stone sleeps on the temple do temple's door are strange words. Let the mon change one. The door remains firmly shut. The legendary giants. Okay, it's the same. Okay, so it's different colored one. Uh, so this is Reggie Rock. I guess this is Reggie Ice or Reggie Ice. I don't know how people say it. I call it Reggie Ice. So something inside this no slightest loop lies a temple where the giant of ice sleeps. In the temple store are strange words. What to even style of snow? The last word is it's snow. The door remains firmly shut. So Reggie Steel. Near where green meets snow in the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of steel sleeps on the temple to temple store are strange words. Let out note whack giant steel. Giant of steel, I'm gonna say that's the end of that sentence. The door remains firmly shut. Oh Okay. I knew that there were new Regis in this game, but this is weird. On the distant paths of the three point paths lies a temple where two giants sleep. On the temple's door are strange words. Where Regi door all be nd. Ind. The door remains firmly shut. Okay. And I guess that this is the one about the tree of the birds. A clue about the legend of the bird Pokemon, it's written by Peony and has a unique drawing. <laughs> the bird Pokemon of legend. When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a great tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is there that the legendary wings come to roost. Okay. I like the drawings, but... <laughs> I guess he could have put a little bit more work into them. There are legendary clues I've meticulously compiled from uh, hours of a dedicated telewatching. Tele 
First off, why not have a look at the clue of the King of Bountiful Harvests? It seems like the King's bond with his loyal steed, or whatever you call it, run proper deep. So if I had to name this expedition, I'd call it... The Sacred Bonds of a Sover Sovereign and Steed. Okay. There's a great big statue of it bang in the middle of the village, though its head isn't as massive as in my notes. It's there on the table! Do you want to change back into your usual clothes? Yes, of course. <laughs> All set! Time to investigate the legends surrounding the Crown Tundra. Ha, I've just had an idea. There's a little something to help you out. A Master Ball! Thank you. It's supposed to be an Ultra Mega Cocker... Cor... Corker? Of a ball, it use, use it whenever you think you ought to. I got it ages ago from somebody I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it though. Yeah, I'm like that. <laughs> if you ever get a bit turned around, come on back to base camp any anytime. Uh, you can't miss it, just look for the adventuring crew flag I stuck out front. Handmade by yours truly. Anyway, I suppose that's that. Let the grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. Okay. Can I get this? Hey, Chief, my pillows caught your eye, huh? That's not a pillow, peony. Your pillow? Oh, listen here, Chief, I've got some wisdom to impart. If you can put your head into it and have a... on it and have a keep, it's a pillow. It looks like it's... very hard to sleep on that thing. I don't think it's comfortable, but still. This guy is crazy, now I know it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I went and left my favorite pillow back at home, so I went and have a look around town for something to rest my head on. And I found this on this out back behind the inn. Can I have it? Come off it! You want me to hand over my ultra mega comfy pillow? Is it really comfy? That's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief. Yes! <laughs> hmm, what's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with a legendary Pokémon? Gal, Tomega, seriously? This is just some old thing I found. But if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? Alright, alright, go on, then have it. Okay! But you'd better make sure to track that legend down. Okay, now I know it's a wooden crown. It's made out of wood. How can I how can that be comfy? A mysterious object made of wood. Part of it seems to be ch chipped. Maybe it's meant to be part of something. You don't say. Oh! I can restore my Pokémon here. Thank you. Why don't they have this at the Isle of Armor? It makes no sense at all. Okay. Story. No, they're just telling me where to go. Okay. Oh! That's the bread tree. So I guess now I'm kind of free to explore the legends I'm not so sure if something's gonna happen if I try to put it here but let's see it's a statue of a Pokemon but someone feels like it's missing something look like the wooden crown could fit into the statue here they went to try fitting it on yes 
Russell, Russell. Shrunk. Okay! The wooden crown, you fit perfectly on the statue. Oh! Okay. Did I trigger something? <gasps> there it is! And he's gonna live? Does it want you to follow it? <laughs> okay, uh, first... Uh, okay, remember that it's that way. Okay, there it is, actually, I can see it. Wait, why didn't I get that? La 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 la. What's this? Utility umbrella? And I need to be held by a Pokemon. This sturdy umbrella protects the holder from the effects of rain and harsh sunlight. Huh. Okay, that's an interesting item, but I don't think it's that useful. Okay, there's something here. Amnesia! Okay. Oh, there's also something else here. Blunder policy. Raises speed sharply when a Pokemon misses with a move base because of accuracy. Eh? Raises speed <laughs> sharply when a Pokemon misses with a move because of accuracy. So I have to run like a drill run and miss? So that I can get my speed boost. And it doesn't say how how many stages it raises, so. Okay, I'm gonna talk to the major to see if he noticed me putting the head back on. Nope, he didn't notice. Okay. Uh I guess I'm gonna wrap up the episode right here. Hold on. I didn't enter this house. Or Barb. Feel! Our village may not be the liveliest place, but do have a relaxing stay and enjoy the sights. I suppose there's not much to see besides that old statue, but enjoy the, the one side anyway. Oh. Hashtag on its tea. Coffee! <laughs> no, this is Cosmog. <laughs> Sorry. I got excited. Oh, that's Fushi. I found it shivering outside the village and just had to bring it home. You know, I think it was just about when I found a Fuffy that other strange Pokemon began appearing in the tundra. I've never seen a Pokemon like Fuffy before. Maybe it, it'd be best to have a proper trainer take care of it, if only I could find a dependable one. Okay, I guess that I have to complete some stuff before I can get the Cosmog. Eevee. And... What do you say, lady? I mean, child. <laughs> do you like uh, walking around together with your favorite Pokémon? Yes! Right, that's the best, and you're walking together all over the place. Okay, so if I don't want Frostless to... or the f leading Pokémon follow me around, I talk to this girl. Uh, what if I talk to you again? I've never seen a Pokemon like Fofi before, maybe a uh, proper trainer, but you find a uh, dependable one. Okay, I have to prove to this lady that I'm a dependable person so I can take care of Cosmog. But I think uh, he told me to go. Okay, there it is. Oh, there it isn't. There it is. <laughs> there it isn't. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna wrap up the episode right here. I don't want this to make it extra long if something interesting happens. If I talk to Carlex, I think it's its name. Oh, I actually don't know how to pronounce it, but that's how I'm gonna pronounce it for now. And yeah, I think that's it. Uh, something I forgot to mention at the beginning of the episode is that I'm gonna do this a daily uh, upload from Monday to... I'm gonna try from Monday to Sunday, I mean, every day, so that I can complete it faster and I can get back to the Wi-Fi battles because most likely 
the new Pokemon are gonna appear in Wi-Fi battles more often, so I have to. Pre I want to prevent the spoilers of doing Wi-Fi battles by doing Wi-Fi battles, so I'm gonna go get that on hold, and I'm gonna upload at least uh, on a daily basis. Uh, at least I'm gonna try, and if not, I'm just gonna be uploading from Monday to Friday. But yeah, uh, I hope you are enjoying uh, this Legend of Carlex, and uh, I guess I have to follow that guy. Uh, I still haven't done anything about uh, that thing. I have to remember. You know what? Let me take notes of the thing footprints because I don't know if that cutscene is gonna appear again. Footprints. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> I've made my notes. And uh, yeah, we have uh, mainly three legends to uncover here at the Crown Tundra, and we're gonna start all of them on the next episode. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you did, and it's Sam. Trap it up. Bye bye.